it's Andre the venue. Will there be another sting in the tail in what has been the most dramatic and remarkable SPL season? Dashville. Ferguson. Pisa not able to provide too much movement, but Dashville can. It's a good ball in from Dashville. But Stephen Davis couldn't bundle it home. He has got a corner, but that was Rangers' best move of the game. And flick on, potentially dangerous, and it falls for Quayler. It's a wonderful save. Magnificent stop from Langfield to deny Rangers the breakthrough that they crave. Whitaker. Closed down and put under pressure, and it was pressure that told in the end. It's Mackie. Now Duff. Four in the centre for him. Looks to Maguire. I think uh, Whitaker Dally's on the ball. He doesn't want to put it back to the goalkeeper, trying to keep possession in the middle of the pitch, but loses it too easy. Then the ball gets played away to Stuart Duff. There's a decent ball in there. Maguire coming in, just tries to guide into the far corner, but just leaning back a little bit three or four yards over the bar, but good counter-attack play from Aberdeen, good pressing play in midfield. It's Tazani's header for it, and here's Duff. Very, very close to all but handing Celtic the title. Well, again, Rangers, look at this, it's a poor clearance here from Stephen Whitaker. Just smashing it in, in the middle of the pitch. Ball was set back from Lee Miller. It's a really good strike from Stuart Duff. And he just drags about six inches wide of that far post. Here is Duff. Good ball in. Almost found Nicholson. Might find Mackey. And Maguire with a shot that was comfortably saved in the end. Again, both wide players played a big part in the game. Both knocked in originally from Duff, snobbed back out again. Mackey doesn't think of a clear shot. Not quite sure if he's just trying to dig that into the middle area or try a shot, Maguire, but doesn't really get any purchase on it. 6 4 for Aberdeen. And it's a free header! It's a goal that could well finally put pay to Rangers' title ambitions. I think it was a terrific ball in there, Lee Miller gambled, no one picking him up, and it's a great header, that's a fantastic ball by Barry Nicholson, Lee Miller, textbook header, just signed a two-year two contract, and that's the reason why Jimmy Collin was so desperate to keep him at Pitaudry. Duff, another free kick to Aberdeen. News certainly will filter through for Mrs. McCoy to McDowell. And can Rangers, or will they concede a second here? They do! Darren Mackey doubles Aberdeen's lead. And it's final day despair for Rangers as Celtic win the title. From the halfway line, this Lee Miller again, just back into David Weir. A little flick, Carlos Quayle is the wrong side of Dan Mackey. And he's just a little toe poke past the despairing Neil Alexander. 2 0 game wrapped up and title wrapped up for Celtic. No but. Nacho Novo has uh, caught Duff, and Kenny Clark has got a decision to make here. The frustration boiling over from Rangers, and Nacho Novo is sent off. Kenny Clark in his final game produces a red card. 
particularly goes over the ball here and he jumps right into Stuart Duff. I don't think the referee can uh, the Rangers have any complaints whatsoever. I think Kenny Class 100 percent correct. Nacho Novo, we talk about tenacious, but that is an outrageous challenge. And I'm afraid uh, Kenny Clark had no option but to give him a red card. And Jimmy Goldwood's Aberdeen set to finish fourth as other results go their way, as well as the victory here. Their home form has been mightily impressive, and post-split, Aberdeen have really looked the part.